It is hard acting with an eye patch. Um, you have to be twice as good an actor. Richard. How do I look? Like you need some help? Too late. I walk alone. Did you bring um, much of yourselves then to Richard Thorncroft, the uh, idiosyncratic actor? The actor who's past his prime and sort of slightly lost. Slightly the I mean, I wasn't going to put it that way, but uh, slightly balding and yeah. I mean, it's a real, a real stretch right. to get there. Um, I yes, I did. I put um, a lot. I mean, we're I, all, I we're all a couple of know. bad decisions away from being Richard Thorncroft. Yeah, <laughs> not too far yeah. away. Um, it was uh, a fun character to play because he's uh, he he lives in a, a lot of denial about the modern world um, and these little blind spots. Mm. Huge, lots of blind, blind spots, spots, or just one big blind just spot. Just a blind spot with with a eye patch. Yeah. So, so ha half of his blind spot he can't even see. <laughs> right, it's an actual blind spot. Yeah. You can't hide the truth from the mind. Hold, hold, hold. It only took us about uh, two hours to write it, but it took uh, ten years to get the finances together. <laughs> no, that's not true, is it? We were quite bad at pitching it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you have to sort of take people through it and go, meeting. there was a show called Mind Hawk about a guy with a bionic eye. 25 years later, <laughs> he's unemployed. Picture the scene. Uh, we're on the Isle of Man. Um, so you would get thrown out, actually, after the Isle of Man bit. So one of the things I loved about the film as well was the kind of the, all the memorabilia, like the action figure and the board games, the annuals and stuff. What was that like being immortalised in plastic? Um, yes, it was interesting. I mean, I, I didn't keep any of those dolls, though I was tempted, but I know there's a bad um, curse that if you, if you take some... Tiny effigies of yourself from a film. Is that you, true? You're you not can, allowed to you take can, dolls. You can, it can, yeah. You can wake up in the night and it can be sitting on your bedside table looking at you. But speaking of action figures, so Simon, you were in uh, Rogue One. Yes. So they've, they made a kind of digital representation of your face. And different they, well, they did that. They sort of have all these <coughs> cameras and they, they they take information mm. required to make an action figure of Blue Five. Oh, really? So that is somewhere um, on a disc somewhere. So all you have to time. do different expressions and you, mm. and they so they have. So did you do all four? I did. Yeah. Uh, well, there's only three, isn't there? Right. Um, but like I, smiling, sad, and uh, it's the quite other one. useful though because we can use that information if, like, we want to do a sequel and maybe you die or something. <laughs> then we can rebuild you, and I can, yeah. we can still do it. We can rebuild him. Well, hologram. Yeah, I could be, be. It could be like a, we could be a detective with his hologram mate. But it would. It was a hologram. It'd be like have, it would. It would have no soul. So what's what's next for uh, for Richard Thorncroft? Uh, well, he's, uh, Doctor Who's recruiting. Oh, Doctor really? Who. Yeah. Yes, and um, yes, Doctor Who. Yes, of course. That could Doctor be interesting. Who, you know, um, there'll be a campaign for Richard Thorncroft to play Doctor Who. <laughs> Absolutely. I like well, that idea. 